Yo, YouTube. What's up, y'all? It is Friday. It is Friday the 18th. My birthday is in two weeks on August 31st of this month. It is also my 10-year wedding anniversary. So, I'm in a good mood. Good spirits, right? I'm here at DSW Warehouse in Columbus, Ohio. Picking up um, a load that is headed to North Bergen, New Jersey. Um, I just delivered a load. I forgot to even record y'all because I just been going so much. Uh, personal stuff going on, nothing bad, just, you know, juggling a lot. But uh, my previous load picked up in Bruton, Alabama. It was a paper load, so y'all knew that y'all know that load was heavy. But luckily, it was preloaded. Picked up that load in Bruton, Alabama. That load delivered to Circleville, Ohio. That load paid fifteen fifty three. Great paying low, especially for coming out of Florida. And I was in Pensacola, so you know, Bruton, Alabama is maybe sixty miles away. Great paying low. Um, this low. Um, from where I was in Circleville, it was only about a 40 mile um, deadhead. Um, it's about 530 miles on the drive, so you know I'm gonna try to gun it and get it delivered today, um, cause I can drop and hook it today or tonight. I got all day today and all day tomorrow, but I gotta pick up a load tomorrow, so I'm knocking this out today. Um, this load pays, uh, I believe 13, Something I have to go back and look at my notes, but I'll try to post it when I get the notes. Um, it pays about 13 or so. So Lowe's paying about, yeah, it's about 205, 215 a mile. So doing pretty good on rates, right? Uh, settlement for this week came out to uh, 1721. Uh, definitely not bad. Um, I know, could do a lot better. I'm sorry I'm not making the four or five K after all expenses that some people make, but hey, I'll keep it real and tell you what I made. Like I said, the week before, absolute trash. Absolute embarrassment of a week. But this week, um, definitely was able to get some things done. This week also, working into next week's settlement is set up to be um, a great paying week. I should be grossing over 5K, um, which is always great. Um, even the week after that, I'm, I'm set up for a, at least a good high four to five K. Um, things are going good. I'm going to take a day off for my birthday because just cause, and uh, who wants to work on their birthday? But I'd rather work on my birthday than to be doing nothing on my birthday. Anyways, y'all, this video been long enough. I'm going to drop this empty. I am going to go grab my loaded trailer. It is over there. Well, you can't see it, but it's over there. Uh, it's a pretty big open space. A uh, very spacious lot. When you come out here, you have to have, um, you know, your number, of course. They'll tell you where to drop your empty at. Big open lot. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all over in uh, North Bergen. Watch out for the fuel, y'all. For those who are watching, and you know that Schneider changes their fuel discount every week. The fuel discount this week is uh, 40 cent in certain states. Um, and the other four states is 50 cent, but that's way out west, but we don't really go out there. Anyways, y'all, and for those who are watching my last video, yes, I got my airlines fixed. Um, I have put that in the uh, ending of my last video. This one is still hanging a little low, my um, electrical line, but my red and blue hoses are completely replaced, um, as well as the tire I was having issues with. I did get a tire put on. So your boy is ready to roll. Time to hit the mountain, y'all. See y'all later. Yo, what's up, YouTube? What love? Love my trucking. I'm here at my uh, delivery at STG Logistics in North Bergen, New Jersey. Man, y'all, these New Jersey streets. <laughs> these New Jersey streets. Know where you're going because missing a turn in New Jersey, missing a turn in New Jersey will have you doing all kinds of tricks so i hope you are really really good at whipping through traffic and i hope you are really really good at navigating small streets where there are cars parked on the side because if you are not you will hit something around here luckily i have a light loaded trailer and luckily i 
do know how to whip through traffic. Um, safely, of course, nothing dangerous, you know, but we're not um, endorsing any unsafe practices. But, God, yes, um, I decided to just record it differently like this, man, because I'm na navigating through here, through New Jersey is a complete, a complete and when I say complete, a complete nightmare. Navigating through here is just wild, man. Like, if y'all can see these, the roads I'm on now, and I'm at the doggone receiver, uh, just trying to drop my load, it's nasty. The, the, the road isn't paved well. You can see the amount of potholes. Um, Granted, nobody should be driving through shipper, you know, or receiver yards, uh, you know, guns blazing full speed ahead. But Jesus, man, if you don't know where you're going in New Jersey, you are going to pay for it. You know exactly where you're going. Pay attention. Don't be on your phone. Do not be. Of course, you shouldn't be texting and driving. Just know where you're going, y'all. Woo. Sorry for my fussing moment. Anyways, y'all. I was supposed to get here last night. As I uh, told y'all I was going to try to do. But what had happened was is, of course, I did not account for the fact of mountains. <laughs> you know, and how mountains can slow down your drive because of course you need to drive slower and uh, you know, more carefully because you don't want to be damaging your truck or you know, your brakes. Uh, being put under a lot of stress so I decided to just wait I, um, and get here today anyways y'all pick up my next uh, load hopefully I have they have an empty here but I pick up my next load about two hours from here that load is going to Rochelle Illinois uh, man y'all I've been seeing fuel up here at about five dollars and five cent a gallon uh, for diesel so just letting y'all know that if you come up here um, the smart thing to do is to fuel up before you come here because if you don't man I hope you got some I hope you got a really good fuel card <laughs> anyways y'all I see y'all in New Jersey I mean um Jesus I'll see y'all uh, either in, I believe it's Lancaster, Pennsylvania, um, where I pick up my load, or, or in Rochelle, where I deliver it, unless I make some kind of content in between time. Holla. All right, what's going on YouTube? Here at uh, Conagra in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, the load board said the empty miles was 187 miles from where I was, but actually it'd be 152. So, we're not gonna argue with less miles. Uh, Load's going to Rochelle, Illinois to drop the hook. I got all day today or all day tomorrow. I won't make it today, but I'll make it tomorrow. Uh, then next load after that is going to um, West Virginia, I believe. Oh Jesus, I need to do better uh, with picking, uh, keeping track of my loads. Anyways, y'all, quick drop the hook. Um, other than that, Y'all be careful. The fuel rates are up, low rates are down. Uh, careful planning is the uh, make or break. Um, I know for me, I was not planning carefully, so my weeks were crappy. And you know, that's that's the market, sure, but it's me too. I have to treat. Uh, I'm going to do a video about that, about things you know, owner operators should know. But um, a main thing that I heard someone say on one of their videos um, is as an owner operator, you cannot think like a company driver. If you think like a company driver as an owner operator, you're gonna end up being a company driver again. And let's not get it twisted. Full disclaimer, there is nothing wrong with being a company driver. One, great benefits. Two, you got no worries. All you have to do is drive. You don't have to worry about fuel costs. You don't have to worry about the rates. You don't have to worry about the spot market. 
You don't have to worry about brokers. You don't have to worry about agents. You don't have to worry about this maintenance bill that's gonna be three, four thousand dollars because your head gets get blue. You don't have to worry about oh I'm down because my truck's in the shop and you might be down for a day or something it depends on the situation but most time companies will just put you in another truck if you unfortunately have to get a towed out truck so there's nothing wrong with being a company driver plus you get excellent benefits so but yeah as an owner operator you can't think like a company driver and uh, it's your business even through the bad times you have to sustain you may not get rich during the bad times, but if you can sustain during the bad times, when the fuel does go down, and one day it might, when the fuel goes down and the rates go back up, you're gonna make a killer. But all you have to do is just hold on. Better days are coming. I'll holla at y'all in uh, Rochelle, Illinois. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Love. Back at it again. I'm here at the uh, Schneider OC slash Schneider Terminal or, you know, OC for Operator uh, Center or Orientation Center, whatever people want to say it's for. Um, but yeah, I'm here at the one in Gary, Indiana because it was on my way to go uh, deliver my load, which is only about 100 miles away, give or take over in Rochelle, Illinois for tomorrow. Thought I would make it today, but traffic got heavy and it was throwing me behind, so I wasn't gonna make it out the road. But this is the terminal, y'all, pretty big. Um, some of the FS, ooh, SFI trucks are right here. Um, over there is the uh, terminal bay uh, where they do the uh, shop work at. As you see, they have about almost, almost 10 or 12 different bays. Uh, maybe more uh, 15 they got 15 bays Jesus I need to pay more attention to their number they got 15 bays and then they got some more bays over there so plenty of bays to get your work done you would imagine There's plenty of space way down there uh, trailer parking for empty and loaded trailers some more SFI and company bobtails here that maybe either need to be worked on or are about to get worked on over there you have the uh, fuel terminal you can use it if you are, um, you know, a Schneider driver or uh, lease operator can use the fuel there. Sometimes it's, the fuel there is usually on par, if not a few cents less than actually what you would find at most um, truck stops. Or maybe like around the same as what your discount would be with Pilot or Flying J, depending on the week. And there's the OC, because I'm about to go take a shower, got my shower bag. Anyways, y'all. Hope y'all being blessed on this uh, Sunday. I have this load delivered tomorrow. Pick up my next load. Get that over to West Virginia before payroll. Should have a good week, y'all. Should be about 55k for the week on the gross. And, uh, I'll see y'all. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy over here at um, Bay Valley Foods in Rochelle, Illinois. It is. 4.44 in the morning. Man, time that out, right? Anyways, uh, when you come here, don't mess up like I did and not super confirm the address because I ended up at the place next door, which is CHS, which is, I guess, they where they do like grain trucks and stuff. Uh, or is it some kind of oil refinery or something? I'm not sure. But I ended up over there at first. And then it was saying over there that they didn't open till 6.30. So, I almost ended up over there trying to wait until 6.30 uh, for them to open. Anywho, uh, probably close out on this one. I pick up my next load in um, Maryland Heights, Missouri. It's about a 250 on the dead head, but um, it's a good paying load. Load is going to Glendale, West Virginia. Uh, low pays uh, fifteen uh, fifty three or fourteen fifty three. One of them. Um, so, you know, not the greatest paying low, but hey, at the same time, uh, it pays good enough. Um, it's about two fifty on the deadhead, uh, five hundred on the drive, 
520. Uh, so about 770 for 1453. So like I said, not too bad, I guess. Um, anyways, y'all, I'll close out this video with this week's vlog on this video. Got some things coming in store over the next couple weeks. I will talk about that more in detail when the time comes. Stay tuned. Hope everyone is safe. Hope everyone is, um, you know, doing good. Mental health is still a big part of what I do, y'all. So make sure you keep your mental health up. Nothing is more important than spending time with your family and your loved ones, the people that you are out here doing this grinding for. And if you're doing it for yourself, nothing is more important than you getting out of that truck, get out of that cubicle on wheels, and go, you know, hit the city, go Uber somewhere, but PC somewhere, and go and enjoy yourself, y'all. We work too hard to not enjoy ourselves. Anyways, y'all be safe, be loved. I'll catch y'all on next week's episode of Dragon Ball Z. Peace.